Dylan Robichaud. As you get ready to set the table for the holiday meals, set aside a little extra cash. Now, KZI 9 News reporter Grace Smith spoke with a food giant and a local farmer to learn more about price increases and the reasons behind it. If you've been to the stores, you've seen some of the shelves are empty, items are hard to find. Little items and big. Andrea Balatevich with Butterball says luckily Butterball starts prepping for the holiday season way in advance. Right after Thanksgiving, we're already talking about the next Thanksgiving and we're getting our turkeys processed and ready out there. Across the country, labor and transportation issues due to the pandemic have made it hard for production to flow like normal. She says claim your turkey now and expect to pay a little more. The consumer price index for goods has increased 5.4%. Pleasant Hill farmer Aaron Lake says he's feeling it too. I'm told here at A&M Family Farms, the price for these turkeys feed has gone up 40% from last year, which as usual gets passed down to you, the consumer. I've been told numerous different stories as to why that is, uh, whether it's um, problem with the crop or shipping or whatever it could be. But yeah, it's definitely been a challenge this year with the feed. Lake says in years past, he's only seen feed pricing go up year to year by two or three percent. Unfortunately, I think this is here to stay. Um, the prices are going up and I, I don't think I've never seen price feed prices go down substantially. So I, I don't think we're ever going to come back from this, you know, or come down, I should say. His best advice, be patient, be prepared to pay more and understand why that is. Just be aware that as you see prices go, going up, you know, for all businesses, it's, it's not the business owner trying to make more profit. It's, you know, we're just trying to survive too. So we have to pass that, that cost on to be able to keep going. You know, otherwise we have to close our doors. Reporting in Pleasant Hill, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News. Grace, thank you.